Morning. This is day four. You can see this is the smart guard from last night. So I had quite an early night and went to bed here about half past nine. And you can see here again there's a dip where the smart guard kicked in there for about half an hour and then kicked in again for about an hour up until two. So again, a full night's sleep with the hypos avoided and then stayed in target all the way through to this morning. Perfect. The veil. Oh, only a sec. There's a similar sort of thing for the 12 hours, where again, the dip that happened here, that would have been quite a few alarms where the prediction was going off, whereas the smart guard sorted that out. And then the same again here. So certainly overnight it's making a big difference in the smart guard seems to be doing a perfect job in keeping me out of hypo. I definitely need to look at those basal rates to stop it happening. But with the changing levels of activity sometimes if I drop those basals down I end up being high in the morning. But we'll we'll drop those down tonight. Um, yeah, really happy. Um, Obviously with the veil I would have got up and sorted those out so it would have done the job in preventing the hypos. It would have just meant that I would now be, you know, minus a few extra hours sleep. So let's see how today goes. So just parked up as I was driving, you can see the suspend before lows kicked in, so I'll put the alert on low today to see what's happening. And uh, now yeah, we're gonna set off. Hopefully we'll see where that prevents the low. Okay, so hypo averted, arrived at destination BG 4.7. You can see the VO is 4.3. The 640G is suspended on low, has now been suspended for about an hour, which has allowed, stopped me from um, going low. So it's done its job, which is perfect. Um, I would imagine that the worm will be on its way up shortly and then it should kick back in. So the difference um, with it working this time seems to be as you can see here my bolus was quite a few hours back at sort of seven o'clock in the morning so the bolus has finished its job pretty much by three hours on so suspending the basal towards the very end of the bolus seems to work which is brilliant but obviously if I'd have over bolused here by a lot it wouldn't have worked so it seems that it's suspending overnight is doing the job where just only the basal insulin is working it works at its premium but then during the day it will also seem that it will work if maybe you've just slightly over bolus by maybe a very small amount or you're just drifting low because of extra activity it seems that the suspend before low is going to do the job there but obviously if you over bolus like i did the other day it ain't going to make a jot of difference so yeah interesting times arrived at dudley hospital for an appointment um People wondering why I'm filming them, but all good. See ya. So you can see the basil's resumed. Um, as I said, I probably it probably would do. Let's go down and have a look. So it's resumed at 9.34. And you can see, yeah. So it's now 5.9, so it's come up as it was before. The VO is obviously at 4.8, so you can see the shaded area which was half nine till half ten so it only suspended for an hour prevented the hypo at the end of the bolus so job done with my colleague Kirsty here thanks for that right you're welcome <laughs> and uh, yeah so all good the Got a message saying um, change sensor. That was within the fourth day of having the sensor on. So I contacted Medtronic and found out why. So in the new Guardian link, that's where the algorithm is. It picks up some diagnostics that if the sensor is performing poorly, it actually comes up to say that to, to change the sensor. So to prevent future false readings. Obviously that's very frustrating because that's only four days out of its six days sensor life. So Medtronic is sending me a replacement sensor for that. 
So potentially, in the long term, that's a good thing because if that sensor would have run poorly for the next couple of days and I've had lots of false suspense before low, that would become annoying. But obviously, what I wouldn't want is for the sensors only lasting four days going on. So that's where over the 64 days, we'll get a good look at how often does that happen or is this a blip? And again, this is the real life experience. So time to change the sensor.